Good Thursday morning, and it's Thursday morning, so it must be time for a science update. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. Subject today, from the headline at Sci News, November 12th, 2021, volcanic eruptions contributed to repeated collapse of ancient Chinese dynasties, says new study. The subhead, one or more volcanic eruptions preceded the majority of dynastic collapses in China over the past 2,000 years, according to new research led by Zhejiang University and Trinity College Dublin scientists. How many? One or more volcanic eruptions preceded the majority of dynastic collapses. That's 62 out of 68 collapses of these dynasties were preceded by at least one serious volcanic eruption. Here's the lead. China's long history thus presents an unrivaled opportunity to examine whether abrupt climate change has a role in the recurrent and precisely datable collapse of 68 dynasties throughout the first two millennia CE for current era, said first author Dr. Chao Chao Gao of Zhejiang University and colleagues. The fall of these dynasties is often described in terms of collapse. The paper goes on. These events have also been historically set in the context of dynastic cycle, in which dynasties pre proceeded through a period of virtue and vigor before decline and collapse, often traditionally credited to the immorality and corruption of the ruling family and elites. But this paper points out another route. It's not just because of the corruption of the ruling elites. Quote, Explosive volcanism has also been proposed as an underlying climatic force associated with specific individual collapses, but the extent to which such observations are generalizable to the broader multi-millennium history of dynastic collapse with explosive volcanism and abrupt climate change by extension playing a systematic role has never been established. End quote. Thus, this study. In this particular study, the science, scientists reconstructed 156 explosive volcanic eruptions from one current era to 1915 by examining elevated sulfate levels in ice cores from Greenland and Antarctic. They also analyzed historical documents from China on 68 dynasties and examined warfare there between 850 and 1911. So this is a very comprehensive study pointing to the rapid change in climate resulting from volcanic eruptions. They found that smaller volcanic shocks to the climate may cause dynasties to collapse when political and socioeconomic stress is already high. So the addition of these two factors can contribute to the collapse of a dynasty. Larger shocks may lead to collapses without substantial pre-existing stress. They go on to say, other factors include poor leadership, administrative corruption, and demographic pressures. Of course, as is always the case with every civilization, with every society, when those factors come into play. Dr. Francis Ludlow, researcher at Trinity College Dublin, says, quote, with so many precisely dated collapses, we can look not just at individual cases of collapse that may or may not have followed a change in climate, but rather look simultaneously at many collapses to see whether there is a repeated pattern where a change in climate was followed by collapse. And sure enough, that's what they found in this case. This can tell us whether climatic change played a very major role in dynamic collapse or whether it posed a systematic threat to these powerful and sophisticated societies. And again, the authors found that 62 of the 68 dynastic collapses in China were closely preceded by at least one volcanic eruption. This is a pretty amazing sample size in this study that adds confidence to the results. From John Matthews, a postdoctoral researcher at Trinity College Dublin and a co-author of this study, it is also clear we should be preparing for the impacts of the next big eruption. So far in the 20th and 21st centuries, the eruptions we've experienced have been minnows compared to some that these dynasties had to deal with minnows compared to some that these dynasties have to deal with, and I suspect minnows compared to what's coming for us. These cooling events caused crop failures, and as I've repeatedly said in this channel, 
in the absence of the ability to grow, store, and distribute grains at a large scale, no empire can be held together. So it was the crop failure at a large scale that causes the demise of these empires and that appears poised to cause the demise of American empire at this point. Not something I want to see, mind you, but it looks like we're headed that way. So yes, we ought to be preparing. No, we are not preparing in any way judging what I've seen from governments and major corporations through the, throughout the world. The study appears in the journal Communications, Earth and Environment. This is an open access journal provided by the Nature Series. The headline of this paper, the title of this paper is Volcanic Climate Impacts Can Act as Ultimate and Proximate Causes of Chinese Dynastic Collapse. And as I already indicated, ultimate or proximate depending upon existing conditions. So if existing conditions are already pretty unstable, it only takes a minor volcanic eruption to serve as the tipping point to dynastic collapse. <clears throat> From the abstract, we use a state-of-the-art multi-ice core reconstruction of explosive volcanism representing the dominant global external driver of severe short-term climate change to reveal a system systematic association between eruptions and dynastic collapse across two millennia of Chinese history. We next, it, it doesn't stop there, we next employ a 1,062 year reconstruction of Chinese warfare as a proxy for political and socioeconomic stress to reveal the dynamic role of volcanic climatic shocks in collapse. We find that smaller shocks may act as the ultimate cause of collapse at times of high pre-existing stress as I indicated from the popularized article, whereas larger shocks may act with greater independence as proximate causes without substantial observed pre-existing stresses. We further show that post-collapse warfare tends to diminish rapidly, such that successive dynasties could claim legitimacy as divinely sanctioned mandate holders, facilitating a more rapid restoration of social order. So they're looking at multiple factors here, which is very difficult to do and is very impressive in this study. So here we have a well-documented case of abrupt cooling leading directly to the fall of empires. I need not point out to this audience the short-term nature of the aerosol masking effect and the subsequent long-term overheating of earth that is associated with it. In for a penny, in for a pound. You get a little bit of cooling, the heating proceeds as it was before. Thank you for liking, sharing, click the bell so you receive further information from this channel. And we look forward to producing another one of these science updates in about a week.